Hello, and welcome to this Diogenes tutorial. Today, we're going to go through three features of Diogenes. The integrated lexica, the filter, and four different search tools. Before we begin, however, I wish to remind you that you can always check the location of the database's databases you are linking Diogenes to by going to File, Database Locations, and then it will display where on your computer you have the PHI, TLG and other databases, as well as giving you the option to link Diogenes to the freely available PDFs of the TLL and the OLD. When you read the text on Diogenes, for example, Horace's Opode 11, you can display either the LSJ or the Lewis and Short by clicking on a word and the window for the dictionary will appear on the right. As you can see, you can then see the entry for that word in the TLL or the OLD by clicking on these buttons and you can view all of the logeon data associated with this word by clicking on the logeon button at the top of the dictionary window. But for the integrated lexica, what this means is by clicking on any of the passages referenced in the Lewis and Short dictionary, you can view it immediately in Diogenes. So, if we click on this passage of Cicero's Tusculums, Diogenes has opened to this particular passage and we can see the entry here. Second, the filter tool. You use the filter tool to define subsets in the greater corpora. You access it from the main menu and create and manage subsets. You first encounter your current subsets and you can delete any of these by selecting it and clicking delete subset. Now we want to create a new subset of its erotic poetry. We input of it and then select the PHI corpus. We define this subset and choose the author of it. And because we want a small number of his extant texts, we further narrow down to particular works. We then choose the Amores, the Heroides, the Medicamina, the Azamatoria, and the Remedia. We give it a name of its erotic corpus and save. If we now go to the search and simple search, you can see that this is included in the list of user-defined corpora. Finally, we will look at four search tools in Diogenes. First, the simple search which allows you to search for a string of letters within either a user-defined corpus or the larger database. So if we choose Horace and select Ferment, leaving a space at the front so that we will only display words which begin with the letter F, Progenies shows us all instances of that particular string in the subset Horace. The author search is similar to the simple search, but instead of only searching within previously defined subsets, it allows you to search within 
an author within a larger corpus without having to previously filter it. So if we go with Propertius inside the PHI corpus, keeping with our string ferment with a space at the front, we now know that this string does not occur within Propertius. Our third search tool is the multiple term search tool. You can search within a database or a user defined corpus. We will use Ovid's erratic corpus and search for the string agit, leaving a space at the front. And then we can add additional strings, as many as we wish. So let's go with Farage and add this to the list. Bogenese then offers different search options. So the scope, so the proximity of the different strings. We would choose a sentence and then the quantity. We've only included two, but as you can include multiple strings, you can then choose whether or not you have three, four, five, etc., in close proximity and Diogenes will display the results accordingly. We must, of course, choose all. And finally, Diogenes offers you the ability to reject a pattern. So you input a string here, and if that particular string also occurs within close proximity to the desired strings, that passage will not be displayed in the results. If we now do this search, Diogenes shows us that Sagit and Faret occur once in the proximity of one sentence within Ovid's erotic corpus. Finally, inflected forms. Again, you must choose your user defined corpus or the database. We will stick with Ovid's erotic corpus and input the dictionary form of the word. You then choose the particular word that you wish Diogenes to search for all the forms of. So we will choose a more and Diogenes shows us all of the forms. Not all possible forms, but all attested forms. You can then select them individually or select all visible forms. Search for all selected forms and Diogenes shows you all instances of that particular word in any of the attested forms in the corpus which you selected. We hope you found this introduction to Diogenes' integrated lexica, filter and search tools useful. Please remember to follow us on Twitter, to like our page on Facebook and direct any queries related to Diogenes to diogenes.application at gmail.com.